DigitalKnowledgeBox.com. This video tutorial is going to teach you how to enable iframes in Joomla. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that in Joomla, iframes are called wrappers. So anywhere you see wrappers, they're referring to iframes. And what you need to do right now is log in and go over to your module manager. You can get there. You can get there under extensions, module manager. Once you're there, create a new module. I've already created one, so I'm just going to pull it up right here. Give it a title, give it a position. I chose debug and you'll see why that matters in a minute. You can leave the rest as it is. And then the important information is that you want to make sure that you input the module parameters for, for the basic ones. At, at least you have to have a URL and you can give it a width and height as well and a target name. Save that. Now once that module is made, browse over to the article manager under the content tab, create a new article. Again, I'm just pulling up one I made before. Then in order to call that iframe, you have to put in this following code, load position debug in between the two brackets. And that code will tell Joomla to load that module, whatever's sitting in the debug position, and show it on the page. So for example, I could then write Harry Potter is the number one download on Amazon today. Something very exciting like that. Save the article. And as you can see now that it's loaded, Harry Potter is the number one download on Amazon today. Not exactly the best looking layout, but the example is there. So that's how you enable iframes in Joomla. See that little tag, that load position debug is calling out this iframe for the Harry Potter Amazon link there. And this should work for any version of Joomla that you may be running. If you're watching this right now on YouTube, you should see a link come up for the next video. Uh, the follow-up video to this will show you how to create multiple instances of this. So if you wanted to create a whole bunch of iframes for a certain website, that video will show you how to do that. Thanks again for watching, and if this has been helpful, give it a thumbs up, or better yet, subscribe to my videos. DigitalKnowledgeBox.com